order to get to the front as you can now call for the enemies with the boat. A few moments later. Now, I know what you may be thinking. You mean you're unstoppable in just an hour? But isn't making games hard? Well, let me answer that. I did make a Flappy Bird game in lightning speed, so let me show you how easy it really is to make a video game. So for real, making a video game is pretty dang hard. And this week I challenged myself to make a new Python project every single day in each of these five categories. A game, machine learning, web development, data visualization, and an automatic script of some sort. The first phase of any project is planning it out, listing out some ideas and figuring out which is both the most exciting to you and also the most feasible given your time and skill sets. During this planning phase, I had two main ideas, including a simplified animal crossing where you can do anything from go fishing, to decorate your house, to run a village empire, or Super Mario Brothers, but with Yogi, with all the power-ups and evil mushrooms running around. I then brought myself back to reality and realized that I can't recreate a cult classic game with decades of history in one day. So I settled with something a little simpler, Flappy Bird. Now that my game was chosen, I began my market research. And since I never really made a game before, even in college, I knew that left to my own devices, I'd be lucky to get a sprite to jump up and down while following the laws of physics. So I headed to GitHub to see what was out there. And luckily, I had some options to play with. By the time I decided on what I wanted to make and found the proper code for quote unquote inspiration, we were well into the afternoon. And since this was my first day of coding in a while, I decided it wouldn't be so bad to take things easy just for one day. So first, I commented out the code that I found on the internet so I could better understand the building blocks of making a game. If coding something from scratch is intimidating, a nice first step that I've always used is to look at some sample code and understand what exactly is happening and how everything is connected. And from my analysis of this code, I learned more about Pygame, a Python game development library, and how to implement some basic logic for things like controlling the character's movement and identifying collisions with the pipes. Once that was done, I went on to modifying Flappy Bird to be Flappy Yogi, of course. The tricky thing about making games is that you have to design or acquire sprites for everything you see, from the background to the characters to everything in the setting. Here, all those sprites were provided, but I wanted to give them a Hashibar flair. And not gonna lie, I spent most of the time designing this Yogi figurine and making him a cute little fire hydrant and hanging tennis ball on the site called Pixel Art Maker. And once I updated the graphics, and ensure that they were of the right dimensions. I also jazzed up some small things like the background, ground texture, and font. And yeah, a bit of tinkering later, this is the final game. And it looks pretty similar to the original because TBH basically is the same thing. But from this exercise, I was able to learn what it really takes to build a game. And I learned that I gotta reel my cockiness in a bit because making a game in 24 hours is hard. So yeah, that's it for today's project. Come back tomorrow if you want to see something a tiny bit more original and hopefully just as exciting. And if you like this video and are excited for this five day series, please give this video a big like and subscribe. And I'll see ya in the next one.